Okay, welcome everybody. <laughs> welcome everybody. We are talking about one with the living planet. This is one big tree. Redwood. Big redwood tree <laughs> that we're hugging. I just wanted to give you a feeling of how big this is. This is energy coming out of the living planet. It's probably 500 years old. Yeah. And that's, we're not even around it. <laughs> so now I'm going to come and face everybody and continue the talk. Okay, I'm just going to plug the microphone in. And... Okay, here we are. And here's the thing to understand. When I say one with the living planet, okay, I am really talking about one with the living planet. And the trees, these incredible redwood trees, okay, are energies coming out of the earth. They're like bursts of energy coming out of the living planet. And we're hugging it, or it's hugging us. I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, but the big message is, we are one with the living planet. I don't see myself, as, this is not an environmentalist talk. It's a way of understanding the world. The whole world is a reflection of God, and we are one with God. Just kind of get, that's what we're talking about. We're one with God, and the tree, these beautiful redwood trees, which I absolutely love, are expressions, divine expressions, coming out of the earth. That's the key to understanding. That's the real key to environmental. We're not separate from the environment. We are the environment. We are the living environment. The tree is a living environment. And we are one with all of that. So that's what I'm talking about when I talk about um, uh, one with the living planet. Not separate. Not an environmentalist. Although it results in environmental thinking and acting. It's like, wait, this is us. This tree is an extension of me. I am an extension of the tree. We are one. Now, the tree isn't God. I'm not God. We have the spark of God in us. That's the key concept. Okay? We call it panentheism, seeing God in all things, versus pantheism, worshiping nature. So we are not talking about worshiping nature. We are not talking about worshiping trees. We're not even talking about hugging trees. That's like hugging ourselves. Think about that. When we're hugging this tree, like Shanti behind me, my wonderful wife is doing, we are one. We are hugging ourselves. And so, naturally, this, of course, leads to understanding what I call spiritual ecology. It naturally leads to that. Of course we want to take care of the environment. Of course we want to take care of ourselves. What is healthy for us is healthy for the environment. And what is healthy for the environment is also healthy for us. So may we all be blessed with this understanding about being one with the living planet and what that means. Because in the living planet, the spark of God, and in us is the spark of God, and every every part of nature. That's why I call it spiritual ecology. So may everybody be blessed with this understanding that we truly are one with this living planet. And now we're going to take a, a, a moment now to meditate. And right here in front of the tree, see if you can feel that energy, and just f follow the energy as it comes through my eyes, uh, as I've been be blessed to be a vehicle for this living energy. And then put it on the tree. And then we will go in the meditation, repeat the mantra, Yoda and then breath, hey and the out breath, wa and then breath, hey and the out breath. And we're going to be here for a few minutes. So just follow, feel the energy coming through me, into you, and waking that energy. And repeat the mantra. Until our mind is quiet. Yod up to the heart, hey out to the heart. Wa up to the third eye from the base, hey out to the heart. And here we go. Okay. 
Iyor. Now into meditation. Good. No, but um, okay. But you see. Mm-hmm. Rotate your device. Okay, I see what they're saying. Just leave it. I got it. Yo. Okay. I'm going to try just a little bit of view to get you to see how tall this tree goes. Wow. Okay. Here we come back down. Okay. Now the sun is shining through here, so peace be with you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Mantakulasan. Taking the sun, the energy of the sun as the spark of God, an energy living tree, and what goes to me. Yes, it is a little cold out. Um, it's 39 degrees, and you can see I'm somewhat barefoot which is the way I generally am, outside. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. I'm leaning against the tree. Yeah, this is getting hard to do. Let's see. Oh, 
Okay, so you see the bare foot? Because that's the way to really take in the energy of nature, is let it come right up through your feet. And there we go. Let me see if I can do that again. Yeah, you can see my feet there. And the practice I do when I go out, because I do all my prayers outside as well, barefoot, is I inhale up for the living planet, taking the frequency of the earth into me. So it's uh, the barefoot approach to spiritual ecology. Peace be with you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Om shanti, shanti, shanti. Om atakyuasan. Aho. Next week, we are having our spiritual fasting retreat, which I'll be doing up here in the Redwoods. Friday night, Saturday and Sunday. You can just go to drcousins.com or uh, treeoflife.mn.co and sign up. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow. Aho. Uh -huh.